Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Gigi and this is Thoughtful Savvy Mom. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you an after dark clean with me and decorate with me. We have been um, with our family that is out of town and we have been playing tourists all day. So I have not been able to be in the house cleaning up and doing things. So I kind of want to take the night time to clean up the kitchen area and decorate for the three-year-old, soon-to-be, um, so that when she wakes up in the morning, she's greeted by a nice little setup for her birthday. We are gonna celebrate tomorrow, have some fun activities for her, but I really wanna wake, allow her to wake up and have a special um, decoration. I usually do it for my other girls, too. So that is what I'm going to do today, tidy the kitchen, um, clean the floors and then I'm going to decorate and I'm going to take you along So if you are new to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe and join this beautiful community And if you are on Instagram, I'm on there too. My handle is at thoughtful savvy mom and Today's video is extra special because it's in collaboration with Monica masters She is a mama and wife to three beautiful girls and she and I are collabing today to motivate you to clean after dark when everybody is asleep and moms can have some quiet time to organize and get their house in order. So please be sure to check out her channel and her videos so you can get extra motivation for after dark cleaning and let her know in the comments that I sent you. And with all that said, let's go because the clock is ticking and it is late. So I got to get in bed to the rest. I've been up since 4.20 this morning uh, since I teach Monday through Friday. Um, so I'm tired. And so I just wanna do this and get done. So let's go. We got something good. So cleaning up the kitchen after everyone is asleep is just perfect. It's some quiet time for myself. I'm able to wake up the next day and just walk into a clean kitchen as opposed to leaving dirty things in the sink. We are having guests over during this time so it felt great to do it after everyone has gone to sleep and I can clean up the house so that the next day when they wake up Everything is nice and tidied. They do have a little girl. She is 18 months old, so I was able to vacuum really well and mop the floors as she likes to play a lot on the floor. And so here I am just cleaning away and today is an extra special evening for me because I am going to decorate for my daughter's birthday and so tonight it's an after dark clean with me and decorate with me so i hope you love this video you get some cleaning motivation and really good decorating motivation because in this video i'm going to make something that i've never tried before but that i've always had a want to do it and i finally took the step and did it and now I think it's just gonna be a staple in our home for birthday celebrations. If you're ready for a good time, count on me. There's a party in the backyard, dance your problems away. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you? Wanna see you smile? Where's the happy girl that I know with a heart on fire? I'll do anything to make it fine, but I can tell that you have something on your mind right now. But I will make you forget all your sorrows. Let go like there's no tomorrow. Let's have a drink, just relax, all your problems will fade. If you We are all about the good, the good vibes. We are 
your sorrows Let go like there's no tomorrow Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard Dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes Let's have a drink, just relax All your problems will fade If you're ready for a good time, count on me There's a party in the backyard Dance your problems away I'm all about the good vibes I know you're all about the good vibes We are all about the good, the good vibes We are all about the good, the good times Dance until it feels alright Without going all out and keeping it simple for myself as a mama to three girls and just having so many projects, we did a Minnie Mouse theme this year. So I stopped by Party City and bought some really cute red polka dotted plate for her. We got some red solo cups, big and small, some plasticware, and then I decorated. Now I have to tell you that all the decorations were purchased, I believe, well the ones that I'm going to show you from the Dollar Tree. I picked up some red balloons, I picked up black balloons, I did have the string already but they have fishing string which was what was recommended to make the special featured item that you'll see in just a moment. And I just used some silver like gift wrap streamers that you can just kind of make curly with the scissors and so I do have a birthday basket um, and I keep some things that I use at everyone's birthday here in our house so I'm taking those out and I bought everything at the Dollar Tree the balloon pump also from the Dollar Tree I blew up 30 balloons and that thing was a workhorse guys one dollar I was I was not a believer that it was gonna survive but it works so well I'm actually gonna buy a few more just to keep just in case something does happen but um, as you can see here I am just blowing up all the balloons and getting them ready I just want to love you just want to I am making a balloon garland and I started with the red balloons I did those and what I basically did is I pumped it 25 times I did that to all the balloons but I realized soon after that I could join the balloons so I started joining them I did one balloon 
then I did the other and as I was tying the second balloon I joined it with the other black balloon or red balloon uh, so I got to do that with some of them um, that made it move a little faster and afterwards the red ones I had done all solo so I took the red balloon and where the knot was I kind of just sprung it downward where the knot got smaller and gave me a little more lead weight um, for tying. I tied the two red balloons together. I did some, I think all the black ones got joined in the manner that I sh told you about just a moment ago. Um, so I attached them all and then I am going to kind of intertwine all of them with the ribbon and you'll see that in just a moment. Here it is. The balloons are coming together. I did two red that were joined, two black that were joined. I kind of flipped them within themselves, which locked them in. And then I went ahead and grabbed the ribbon and just kind of went like a figure eight, just kind of wrapped it all around and tightened it. And then I would attach another set of red, kind of intertwine it then grabbed another uh, black and just kind of did like figure eights around it just to kind of secure it. And then I made two loops on each end so that I can attach it with some tape. So here it is. We've got our Minnie Mouse themed balloons and I think they came out so nice and sturdy and we did get her this nice balloon from our local grocery store for the Minnie Mouse theme and I additionally bought streamers and so I attached those to the windows. I did red and black. Uh, in the evening time, I only got around to doing the red just because it was getting awfully late and I was very tired by then and I figured I could do the black the following morning since I had gotten the hang of it and noticed how much 
um, lead I needed for the streamer. So yeah, I really am happy with this setup. Um, and I think that it turned out really nice. that my streamers are going in every direction. I had the fan on. Unfortunately, our AC shut off this day and we could not get it fixed. So we had the fan going because it helps with the heat and we got it fixed the following day. It's just a fuse and cleaning the, I guess the pipes for the drains. So that's why you see my streamers going every which way. We usually don't use this fan. I'd like to change it and have a regular light fixture, but it definitely came in handy during this moment. But I promise dear I never let you go. So don't let go. Get close to me. Oh don't let go. So here it is. I grabbed this clip at the end of the night of my birthday girl. I did add black streamers in between the reds and it just gave it such a nice pop of color. And as you can see, we have two high chairs because my niece was in town and we got to celebrate this cutie. I can't believe she's three years old. She's the reason why I started my YouTube channel just to share my journey um, with her and all the things, baby, and things like that. So those are my three girls and my niece. Please do not forget to check out Monica Masters' video. Let her know that I sent you. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on Friday. Bye, love. My mama's